All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to day three of our uh, NFL free agency period. So we've got a lot of moves um, going on. You know, through these last few days, there have been so many moving parts, so many uh, players finding new homes, so many teams making trades. I think one team that's really gone under the radar here are the Denver Broncos. So Denver Broncos have been making some solid moves, some smart decisions to put their team in the best position to win as possible. I've got three things that I want to go over with them today. Um, just kind of quick pops, um, let you know what I think about some of these decisions that they've been making. So number one, they've, uh, they're have they going to release Joe Flacco. So what I think that says is uh, they're 100% committed to Drew Locke at this point. Um, he stepped in last year. He was a phenomenal quarterback for them. He showed he's got that, that NFL potential. He can play in the NFL. He's got an arm uh, for the league. He definitely is mobile enough. He makes smart decisions, good reads. I think he's a really, really solid quarterback. So um, once he was able to kind of rehab, uh, get healthy again, and then sit behind Joe Flacco a little bit, he could learn the system, learn you know how to succeed in the NFL as a quarterback. I think that really helped him kind of grow into this role of, all right, it's now time for me to step in and be a franchise quarterback. So I think the Broncos releasing Joe Flacco, you know, it's definitely a, you know, thank you, Joe, for, you know, your time in Denver. Thanks for helping us out doing what you did. Um, but now we're moving on to the next chapter. And that chapter is going to begin and end with Drew Locke being the franchise quarterback. He's our number one guy. We're committed. So I think that's an A-plus move for them, something that needed to happen. Um, and, you know, starting this this new chapter of the Broncos uh, football organization with Drew Locke at the helm, it's a smart decision. So um, next move that they made, I think, also kind of goes hand in hand with the Drew Locke decision. Uh, picking up Graham Glasgow, I think, was an underrated move. Graham Glasgow is a very, very solid offensive lineman. Doesn't give up many penalties. Doesn't give up many sacks. Um, he's just a, he's a very consistent um, offensive lineman, and I think he's gonna he's just gonna shore up that offensive line. He's going to be able to protect Drew Lock. Um, he's gonna add um, just like a solid uh, protection around Drew Lock. I, I think he's gonna be very very good for this offensive line. He'll step in and be a leader come day one, um, and I think it really kind of speaks to. Denver is trying to just build this this offense, build this team around Drew Locke and let him, you know, do what he does to get this team to win some football games. So I think, you know, Graham Glasgow coming in, um, filling a void in the offensive line, I think is a smart move, good decision. And I think it's going to pay dividends. Absolutely. Um, come day one for the Denver Broncos. So Graham Glasgow getting picked up, Joe Flacco getting dropped. I think both are, are moves more to... Uh, protect and take care of Drew Locke than anything. Now, the biggest move I think that the Broncos have gone ahead and made happened today. They traded for Jarrell Casey, the defensive tackle from Tennessee. Now, this is a huge, huge move. Jarrell Casey is a beast. This guy, I think, is really, really solid. I love Jarrell Casey. He's a big dude. He's strong. He's fast. He can get after the quarterback. He can stop the run like nobody's business. Um, he's just a very good defensive tackle. I mean, he's solid. He's a big dude. Um, and he's been a pro bowler multiple times. I think he's five times as a pro bowler. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's been in the NFL long enough. Um, he's been getting it done consistently for long enough. And he's just a, a very good football player. So um, picking up Jarrell Casey uh, is going to make this defense even harder to deal with. I think this defensive line is going to be just so scary. How do you go up against Von Miller, Jarrell Casey, Bradley Chubb. I mean, these guys are going to be difficult to deal with if it was just one of those guys on a defensive line. And now you got all three on a defensive line um, coming at you every single down. I think that's going to be a tough, tough pill to swallow if you're an offensive line. Um, a plus pickup uh, for Denver. I think they're just, they're really trying to get it done uh, at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. And that's absolutely how you win football games in the NFL. So keep your eyes open for the Denver Broncos, guys. If they make any more moves, I'll let you know about them. But I really think that this team has kind of swept in under the radar and made some of the best decisions and the best. Uh, moves possible to put their team in a winning position for next year. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help grow the channel. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, do you think the Broncos are going to be a scary team to deal with next year? Do you think that they're nothing to worry about? Um, tell me what you think down below, and we'll talk about it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and as always, fins up.